I'm, I'm over 40, and I did something that I think um, any normal man over 40 would do. That's right, I took up boxing. <laughs> and I took up boxing over 40 for one very simple reason. I can't afford a Corvette. <laughs> I know a guy who used to be a professional boxer, and I said to him, hey, do you, do you train people? Because I'd like to learn how to box and get in shape and defend myself. And he says, yeah, and it's fun to hit things. <laughs> I'm learning a lot from the guy, too. Uh, I'm learning the cross and the slip and the no moss. <laughs> Taught that one myself. My trainer says he's never seen anybody who's such a natural at giving up. He said, you know, you keep this up, women are going to watch you for your body and not for your good looks. I said, aha, step ahead of you. Women already don't want me. <laughs> yeah, here's, here's, this is a typical, typical day when I go boxing. Okay, I belong to a gym in Hollywood. I, and we meet Saturday mornings at 10 o'clock uh, for the warm-up. I get there about 9.40 because I'm in my 40s, and uh, I, I, have to, I have to go into the, the parking lot and jog and stretch a little bit, because when you're in your 40s, before you warm up, you have to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I go in, and I go in the gym, and the little, I got a little barcode on the keychain, you know, you belong to a gym, you have to swipe the barcode, and you ding, and, uh, and I, I say hi but to the girl behind the counter, and hi. <laughs> I bet your mom is hot. <laughs> and then I go, I go upstairs to the boxing gym and I put on my boxing shoes. I got these really cool looking boxing shoes. They lace halfway, halfway up the calf. And uh, I got them because they look cool on me. And because I'm over 40 and I need the ankle support. <laughs> and, then, and, and because I can't afford a Corvette. And then, and then uh, uh, my, my trainer shows up, and we start working out. And the first day he, said, he, comes, he comes in, and there's a whole bunch of the, the heavy bags against the wall. You know those big heavy things hanging. And he says, uh, pick a bag. Which bag do you want to hit? And instinctively I said, my dad's second wife. <laughs> it's, it's not what he meant. It's not what he meant. So we did that, and then we also did the, uh, the speed bag, the one that hangs, that, that goes back and forth with that. This is the one that fighters in the movies hit really fast uh, in the montage sequence, <laughs> right before the big fight. I hit it like a cat in a YouTube video. a small child, but I'm not, I'm not that good. Like, he'll, he'll have me do things where I don't hurt myself, like, uh, like, like shadow boxing. Shadow boxing is where you punch the air. So you just, uh, he's got a rationale for it. I don't question him. He's a fighter. And the first time I did this, I hyperextended my elbow. <laughs> And when I reacted from the pain, I spun around and hit my head on a pole. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you, a grown man with a college degree, a job, and a mortgage, who once picked a fight with nothing <laughs> and got his ass kicked. <laughs>